okay right how we are going to make http request okay in general how to make an http request right we have seen how to make a http uh, we have seen diff two different formats right http request and response now we are going to see how to make http request to a server okay how to make an http request to a server right <clears throat> there are three different classes there are three different classes we have in salesforce salesforce product a three different classes to build http request to build the http request okay there are three different classes the class three different classes http class http class http request http response okay so using these three classes we can make the http request and uh, how to get the http response from the server okay so we are, going, we are trying to find okay uh, an answer for these two questions now how to make the http request how to get the response programmatically right so in api from the program from your apex how can i make http request to your server how can i read the response that you received from the server so there are three different classes the predefined classes provided by salesforce using which we are going to build the request we are going to response we are going to process the get the response and process the response right <clears throat> so we'll see okay what is http request class predefined class predefined class right so this is going to using this class okay we are going to uh, using this class and methods right we are going to set the uri the method the class okay contains methods to to build the below information okay what are the information you are going to build uh, url it means okay uh, which which resource right which resource which resource you are going to request what resource you need and then what type of what type of uh, request right we have seen in the uh, request response body what type of uh, okay what is the first line uh, the request body contains uh, the request right what type of request whether you're going to read some information whether you're going to write some information to the server so that's what you are going to uh, you know build in this okay using the method in the uh, http request right so listen here how we are going to make this suppose i am going to um, okay so this is a, a url i am going to make the request http is colon slash dot sbc meet okay you shall first page example this is a page i'm going to request right and this is a page i'm going to request and so the method is going to be uh, get method right so how i'm going to build the request listen here http request okay the class i'm just going to create an instance for the class okay and the class contains some instance methods request dot set endpoint endpoint is a method which is okay which is going to receive which is going to accept 
a string okay which is going to accept the url in the form of string so that's it sorry i just i had to put here right so follow this then the one is we have set which resource we are going to access okay which resource is to be requested that has been given and then what type of request set method is a setter method right so within single quotes i'm going to set the method you we'll follow this so using the http request class okay it's a predefined class okay which has which as instance methods to build the below informations okay so we are going to build this suppose this a uh, end request you are going to make the request this is a page you need from the server and just give that uh, name as a argument to the set endpoint method and what type of request you are going to make set method we will follow this is clear to all of you yes sir okay something but this is uh, right this is one you are going to request this is a page you are going to request host name this is a host name huh? right this is a host name url contains host name right next to the protocol we have host name only it is in the resource i don't get you okay the uri is basically has three parts right uh, protocol host name uh, i mean uh, what i mean is you are not separately specifying the host name it's a part of the resource it's it's embedded in the resource correct here yes 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 no 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 that's not what required. i mean the complete okay. url you are going to refer here okay yes yes the complete url you have to refer the set endpoint method yes Okay, I got it. Set endpoint. And what type of request you are going to make? Okay. Suppose I am going to read the information within single quotes. Okay. In this format. Okay. In case if you are going to write something, suppose I have an application. okay i have an application uh, we are just trying to understand the connection part okay this is just we are trying to understand make the request authentication connections that that some are going to be taken later ma we are just going to understand trying to understand uh, just a simple part of uh, uh, you know rec building the request that's all okay we are trying to understand just building the request okay. the post is basically uh, okay trying to write something trying to update something suppose i'm going to make some payment okay to some third party system 
okay the right so what is a path and uh, and what is a method post method so this method says okay the request is basically to write something on the server the request is made to write something on the server okay in case if you are going to pass pass any data for, for example i am going to pass the customer id uh, listen here suppose i am going to pass uh, okay for any uh, suppose i am going to get something uh, okay i am going to get some details details or something then okay customer id equal to some name so in the form of query string in the form of query string we are going to pass the data so the request is built with the help of url only okay so the request in http uh, format of uh, connecting with your server requesting the uh, server right uh, communicating each other based on the http protocol is going to be okay you're going to depends on you're going to build with the help of url only okay you're going to build your request with the help of url <coughs> okay right and uh, we'll go to this so we'll see the response part now so this is your request part okay so what is the now we just build the request only right then how we are going to send the request how we are going to get the response that's what we are going to use these two different methods okay we are just sorry this methods http and http response http request class okay with the help of the class and the instance methods of the class we build the request okay so how to okay how to send the request how to send the request with the help of http class with the, help, with the help of http class we are going to send the request see here how we are going to do this okay uh, example okay http So what I'm trying to do, I just create the instance. So it has an instance method. Okay, it has an instance method called send. Right, it has an instance method called send. So the, okay, here, whatever request you build, whatever request you build, that instant you have to pass as an argument. When you execute this statement, what will happen? The request will be automatically uh, okay, post to the uh, send to the uh, server. So how we are going to send the request to the server? Build the request, and then using HTTP class, send the request. So this is this method is going to return a response in HTTP response format. Okay, I can receive the response in this object type. A variable of HTTP response class type. So now we know how to use the three uh, classes using the first class, okay, using the HTTP request class, build the request to what resource you need, what type of, uh, uh, right, uh, the request you are going to make, and then using HTTP uh, request, how to send the request and uh, get the response. There are two classes we have http response and http class right so using http class create the instance the instant okay the it has the instance method called send pass the okay the object so here you're going to pass an object of http request right request class that's what i have seen here right so basically if you are going to uh, okay send this request for example you're going to do this so what are you going to do my here okay okay 
So th this is an example. This is not the HTTP. Okay. Th th this is not the way you can do again to your help.salpers.com. We'll follow this. I just give an example because any rec any server you are going to make a request that should provide the service, right? That should provide the HTTP service. Okay, right. So just we we'll take an example. Now it's HTTP new HTTP. Okay, HP dot send. request and whatever response it's going to return response so follow this and this is going to have a different types of methods okay so to get the body in case if it's going to return in the form of a string json string okay how to get the status from the response how we are going to read the st status of the response whether it's successful or not they have method status code okay like this and this what is the difference okay. between the get and the post Difference between get and the post. Get method. Get and method post. to get. Yeah, we are we are not we are not going to write anything on the server side. We are just read the information. And uh, suppose you like to write something on the server. I'm just adding some data into the server, updating some table on the external system. Then you have to you have to request accordingly. We have delete method. We have post method. We have get method. Okay, so accordingly you have to make the request. So what you are trying to do in the external system, what type of request, whether it's a read request or okay, or write request or update request or delete request. So these are the methods you like to retrieve any data go with the get method you're going to create some resource right you're going to write something suppose i send a customer details okay uh, the excel system has a table called customer table i will send a name phone number and other details of the customer so it's going to insert a row into the an excel system table so we are making a post request right i'm trying to delete something then go with the delete method. I'm going to replace something, put method. Right? That's what. Okay, so. So let's make some uh, quick example. Okay, we'll, we'll go with the any, uh, any general uh, a public web server, okay, public uh, web service, right? Uh, without any authentication we know like uh, right now, now we are just going to see an example of uh, how to make a request uh, to the a web service provider right so okay i'm just trying to
Okay. So, okay, our, our postal, right? A postal service providing some web service. What is the use of this web service? You see here, uh, when you, okay, when you give the pin code, okay? When you give the pin code a uh, uh, slash and just give some pin code. So what type of response I got? The details about that location, okay? Whatever referred by the pin code, in Indian postal uh, code, if you give us a, a data in the URL, you get all the information about that particular location, right? So people remember the JSON. What is the type of uh, response we are getting here? With format, JSON format, right? So you see here, okay, uh, there is a okay message, right? How many records it found and uh, status successful uh, post office and it contains an array because it starts with the square bracket, right? Right, so this is the type of response you got. It's a JSON format. So what, what is the endpoint URL? The endpoint URL is going to be a HTTPS colon API postal code slash pin code. Okay, what is the data you're going to pass? The data you're going to pass, uh, okay, the pin code number next to this slash. Then what type of response you get? The JSON format, right? So this is what, uh, okay, the uh, server, this is a service, Okay, the resource name, what are, where you are going to make the request, what type of request you are going to make. We are not going to write anything, we are not going to delete anything, we are going to get something. So request is get, endpoint URL, and any what data you are going to pass to the uh, server, just a pin code. Okay, so based on the pin code, we are going to get the response. The response is going to be in this JSON, JSON format. We know how to make the request, we know how to get the response. If you got this, that's what you're trying to build now. We're trying to Anjit. build an HTTP. Okay. Yeah. Anjit, even if you send a request through HTTP, the response could be in the JSON format, right? So it, it's not necessary. It's the not response. necessary. It's not necessary. Yeah. They may also send the response in XML. Okay. Now we are taking an example where the response we are getting in JSON format. Okay. Thanks. Okay. I'll show you another example where we get the response uh, uh, in uh, XML format. So we just uh, quickly see uh, one more example. Uh, so, okay, we'll we'll see how to uh, process the response. Anyway, so you... making the request, getting the response is going to be same, but how we are going to process the response it depends on. Okay, uh, in the beginning uh, we have seen right. So that's what right now we'll see. Uh, this part of the okay for serial deserialization and then I will show take on another example to understand the XML format but making the request is going to be same okay it's going to be same just okay just three things you are going to follow build the request okay send the request get the response but how we are going to process the response it depends upon okay what type of response you get you get you will follow this right let me let me create a quick example. I just trying to create a class. Okay, so we'll try to give a postal code from the Visual Post page, and uh, okay, process the response and display it in the Visual Post page. So I'm going to build a class now.
in point. Okay, the better approach. Okay, so just Okay, so endpoint. Okay, along with the endpoint, you are going to build a. Uh, uh, you are going to give a, a pin code as well, right? So plus, sorry. So pin code you are going to get from uh, Visual Force page. Okay, so it's, it should be a get set, right? Okay. Okay then. You will follow this. So, what type of uh, a method? Get method. You will follow this. So, get method. And uh, so, this is a predefined uh, web service, right? The type of documentation you will have basically. Okay. You say any. Uh, okay, to any system you are going to make the request. So basically, you will have a, a documentation. Uh, okay, with the with the system basically. So some sort of documentation. Okay, some sort of documentation, something like this. Endpoint. Okay, method is going to be get and the response format is going to be JSON. Okay, so then, so what is the next thing? HTTP. Send. So what are you going to get? We're going to get uh, uh, the body. HTTP request. Sorry, response. body so what is the <clears throat> format of the uh, the response so what is the formula of the response the formula of the response is going to be string your json string right can be stored in string okay right so let us display this in the uh, UI.
we're going to get the pin code Okay, right. <laughs> I just forgot one thing. Sorry. See, whatever external is uh, right URL, you are going to make a request from Salesforce. From Salesforce, wherever, whatever the resource that you are making request, the host name, right? The host name, tilde the host name, not the resource path. The host name must be registered into the, okay, under the remote site setting. remote site setting just register that url click new okay give some name any name okay and save it okay which part you are going to save just uh, even give the uh, resource path including uh, only the uh, that host name will be taken automatically okay the other part will be ignored so only then you can make a request from salesforce Okay, just a type of authentication, the first level of authentication, whether Salesforce is allowed to make a request, okay, whether external system, okay, are allowed to make request from, uh, we can make a request from Salesforce, that system must be registered under remote site settings under security, uh, okay, uh, control. So I just give the information here. Uh, So Ranjan, that external system should also authorize the Salesforce, right? So how do you do that? Yes, yes. Basically, yeah, yeah, yeah. We have taken, yeah, that's why I mentioned in, in the beginning. We have taken the uh, a public service, uh, web service right now, okay? We are not going for any authentication. There are different ways of uh, authentication, right? It's a open, uh, it's a, no authentication, basically. Anyone can access the service. That type of example you have taken. Later, we'll see how to make a, uh, request to uh, okay with different uh, authentication type now we are going with the example of no authentication basically but the first level of authentication like uh, registering the website under remote site settings must be from the Salesforce side we are registering but okay with a uh, user ID password other different types of authentication method you will see other uh, with other examples right now we are going with a, a simple one okay with a public web service okay fine Remote site settings, security controls. Okay, then we'll just have a quick example now, right? So now it's registered.
right we got the details like this now this is this is the details you are going to process am i right okay so people remember the uh, xml methods how to process this you just reading the tokens right okay we got the response something like this so we are going to read the the tokens okay we are going to write the tokens okay listen how we are going to uh, do this okay let me explain later first let us do this so so what are going to do is json deserialize deserialize the json we got the response in json format right so we have to use a json deserialization right people remember the method create parser okay create parser so what are going to pass here your uh, res body okay so till the last token okay so i'm not going to get all the details i'm just looking for uh, okay i'm just looking for okay whenever whenever i get the okay i just get the name only right get the name and uh, okay i just only need only one details let's see so jp dot dot get text right how, what is how do you get this uh, uh, the value text get text name okay when name is found then go to the next token am i right so i will move to the next token jp dot okay move to the next token then i'm going to uh, store it into some list public string okay so details i'm just going to display it in the visual post page side that's the reason i'm declared this as a uh, okay as a list of string you need to allocate a memory add how we are going to get the details to get the value get text okay then uh, let me okay right after this let me display this
Okay, basically for the pin code, we have uh, uh, three different details we got. Listen here, name. Okay, so name of the uh, the road. Okay, Bermuda Barracks. Something is a road basically, and then next is what is the area, and then we got some more. Okay, uh, there are three different informations we got. So wherever I okay, I see the, the token text name, I get the details. Do you follow this? So just reading the and JSON data. That's it. Okay, we have seen this example already. How to read the tokens? So we already know the format of uh, okay the message. Then all you have to do is move the cursor, right? Move the token. So reason we used. Because we don't know the format, right? If you know the format of the data, what you are receiving, then we can go with the deserialized method, uh, you know, based on the class type, right? People remember all those methods. So any of the methods we can go. If you know the the format, right? If you know the format of the receiving data, they, then we can go with the uh, deserialized method. If you are not sure about the format, then we are going with uh, create parser method. Am I right? We are going with the create parser method. In other case, we can go with a, a predefined methods, right? We can go with the predefined methods. <laughs> Just struggling to get the right. If you know the format of the data you are receiving, then we are, we can go with the deserialized method based on the classes, right? So there it is. Okay. Okay, you can go with the deserialized method based on the Apex class type. Right. Anyway, I'm just couldn't couldn't find that uh, uh, notes for you to recall. Right. If you know the DC right, right, the class, the format. Of course, we can go with the okay predefined format. If you do not the know the if you do not know the format, right, the dynamic format, then you'll go with the Create parser. Read the token individually based on the text field. That's what you did here. We we'll follow this. So you got the list now. Uh, you can also go with the, any of the data list method in your UI here, and I can display the data. Right? You can go with the data list method or data table. You can display the list and display the data on the UI. We we'll follow this. Is clear to all of you? We'll see a quick example of uh, to understand the XML, how to work with the XML uh, data. Or it's late for you guys. We can do tomorrow. Okay, right. It's I think it's late for you. Anyway, we'll this this how we'll do the things uh, in your. Uh, we are, we are today we have seen the STM HTTP request introduction, and uh, we are trying to we understand. Okay, we are. In some we've seen some overview of uh, HTTP request message and uh, response format, and how to build the HTTP request. Okay, right. So I'll post this example uh, for your reference. Just go through it. Okay, then see you all tomorrow. 7 a.m. IST tomorrow. Got me? 7 a.m. IST. Okay, right. See you all. Take care. Bye.